Hello guys and welcome back. Today I am going to give a brief, a brief history uh, of money. Uh, but first, please like my page. If you like what you're, what you're hearing, if you like my lessons, uh, please like my page and also hit that subscribe button down there. I would really appreciate and help me out a lot. Uh, today's comprehension listening English exercise is about the history of money. Please pay attention to the pronunciations and of course repeat the video often so you can understand uh, each word and what I am talking about. Okay, so this is the brief history of money. Let's go. First, I'd like to say money has been responsible for not only mankind's greatest achievement, but its biggest downfalls. At present, it dominates modern society. Don't you think money dominates modern society today? Of course it does. It's in everything in society. It dominates modern society so much to the extent it feels like to do anything that isn't breathing, you need money. Isn't it absurd that we have to pay for water today? Isn't it? The ways in which exchanging money has evolved is truly exciting, such as now you can buy a Greg's meal deal. With contactless payment. Truly, we have arrived in the future. We are in the future. Over its vast history, money has been central to developing our modern international trade networks. However, new research has revealed that history is coming full circle, with 80% of people admitting to bartering with businesses rather than using money. In 9000 BC, early man would barter goods they had in surplus for the ones they lacked. Grain and cattle were popular goods to barter with. Bartering was first recorded in Egypt. In 1100 BC, in China, people started using small replicas of good casts from bronze materials. Largely for practical reasons, these developed into rounded coins. Coastal regions around the Indian Ocean saw the use of cowrie shells in trade as early as 1200 BC. 600 BC, the first official currency was minted by King Aliates of Lydia in modern day Turkey. A standardized coinage allowed trade to flourish across the Mediterranean world. In 1250 AD, the Florin, a gold coin minted in Florence, Italy, was widely accepted across Europe, encouraging international commerce. In 1280, excuse me, 1290 AD, the travels of Marco Polo to China introduced the idea of paper money to the Europeans. In 1661 AD, however, paper money 
didn't catch on for quite some time with the first banknotes being printed in Sweden. Paper money was great for businesses because it could be mass produced without relying on raw materials like gold and silver. In 1860 AD, industry giants like Western Union spearheaded e-money with electronic fund transfer via telegram. In 1946 AD, John Biggins invented the charge it card, the first credit card system. In 1999 AD, European banks began offering mobile banking with primitive smartphones. The arrow began to circulate in 2002. 2002, guys, was not so long ago. In 2008 AD, contactless payment cards were issued in the United Kingdom for the first time. In 2014 AD, with a constant demand for ways to ensure businesses can trade easily, New innovations are constantly being introduced and refined. Barclay card trailed wearable contactless wristbands. History comes full circle with barter cards, offering a platform for businesses to barter surplus goods and services worldwide. Apple Pay was announced for iPhone users to enable them to pay for things with their headsets. Bitcoins entered the mainstream. The first fully implemented decentralized cryptocurrency. Well, that was just a short history of money. Of course, you can search the internet for other stories on the history of money, uh, how money has become full circle in this world. Again, if you like this uh, English comprehension listening lesson, please like my page and hit that subscribe button for me. I would really appreciate it. And also make comments. Give me some comments on this lesson. Let me know what need to, needs to be improving what I need to improve so you can get new lessons with your suggestions, okay? Thank you guys, have a great day.